Hello, everyone. Today we talk about RFID, radio frequency identification. RFID is a wireless communication technology that is commonly used in automatic identification and target tracking. It can operate on target data without contact, such as the common public transportation payment system and access control system. And in this video, we will introduce RFID hardware and software. Then we'll make an RFID charging system. It's very simple, mainly in three steps. Firstly, use the key for verification. Secondly, execute the deduction operation. Thirdly, output the balance. Now, this is the circuit diagram of Arduino and RFID module. The pin 3.3V of the RFID module is connected to the 3.3V power supply of Arduino, and the reset pin RST is connected to the pin 9 of Arduino. These communication pins are connected to pin 12, 11, 13, and 10 of Arduino respectively. Note that this pin is the SD8 when using I2C communication and when using SPI communication, it is the NSS. This circuit diagram is connected according to the RFID library, and this library file can be downloaded from Arduino Library Manager. Here's the code. Add these two libraries. This is for SPI communication, and this one encapsulates the read and write registers, as well as the verification operation. Users only need to access several common methods to use RFID. The following code applies several methods, and you can check for their instruction in the library file. Here, define the pin NSS and RST of the RFID module to be connected to pin 10 and 9 of Arduino. Create an instance of MFRC522. Initialize the SPA bus. Initialize the MFRC522 reader or writer. Output prompt information of the charging system. Determine if a new card is detected. Select a card to operate. Obtain the type of the card and determine if it's a legal one. Set the key to 1. RFID has 1 kilobyte of data storage space, and the space is organized in 16 sectors. Each sector is divided into four blocks, and each sector has one trailer block. Among the 16 bits of the trailer block, bit 0 to 5 is key A, 6 to 9 is access bit, and 10 to 15 is key B. Anytime when reading key A, it will return data 0. Key B is for security verification. It can be used as user data and can be read under some access conditions. Access bit is used to specify the access right of each block of the sector. Bit 9 can be used as user data. Operation data block 5 use KB for verification. Perform the deduction operation. The amount here is set to 1. Read the balance and output. Modify the card activation status. Stop the encrypted transmission. After downloading the code to the Arduino development board, open the serial monitor and wait for the output of the public transportation charging system. After it prompts the message, the card is ready to use. Now we output the deduction information to the serial monitor. We can see that the card has been used 5 times and the balance is 95 yuan. Seems that the system works very well. Okay, this is pretty much it of this time. See you!